Okay, Sally, we're here in your large farm outside Dundalk. Um, you've just been telling us this estate, very historic estate, has renowned links to King William of Orange. Could you elaborate on that, please? Well, um, King William camped here, basically, uh, the spot where we're standing, uh, camped on his way to the Battle of the Boyne. And uh, he also came back here after the Battle of the Boyne, uh, where he troops were um, refreshed and restored back to health, the ones that survived it, I suppose, uh, both both his army and his horses. Um, so that's the con connection, really. And you have some artefacts here on the farm? To well, there was an old, uh, down in that uh, hollow there, where King William had his fire, and I suppose they cooked, uh, we found an old cauldron. And then at the back, up somewhere here, we found an old bath. Um, Appears to be back from that from that period. That's uh, that's what we have. And you've donated various artifacts as well. Is that correct? Well, um, our local uh, presbyter, our local um, Church of Ireland rector, uh, the Reverend Sandra Pragnell, actually donated his um, eider down to the local um, uh, museum, which was there to be seen. Yeah. It's one of the great untold stories here of the William Knight Trail. It's not, not, it's not very widely yeah. known at all. Well, I mean, it's it's amazing, really. But thank goodness, it's now that it's coming to light with the peace and everything. It's wonderful that we can we can sort of open up the place, you know, for people that are interested to see. And of course, it's not it's not just um, the William of Orange. There's also a great connection, great uh, areas historical interest here of two other great figures, Kukong and St Bridget. Could you elaborate a wee bit more on that? Sally? I could surely. Well, uh, St. Bridget basically was, you can probably see for her, just up there, where she was born. And um, she was, uh, she founded her monastery then down in Kildare, funny where I come from. And uh, she was, uh, she walked down through our land here on her way south to Kildare. And um, we're told that one of the only remaining parts of her uh, path, her route, her uh, road is at the end of our deer park which runs along by St Bridget's stream um, and uh, she was reputed to have given the waters the springs here there's the really healing powers at St Bridget then we have Cucullan whose castle you can see just up there in the trees and uh, he was uh, our ancient warrior um, and he was buried then in the next field here the fort field beside us uh, up in the fort with, along with his uh, wife, Ema, which he loved dearly. And um, so, uh, you know, we're privileged to have these links with such wonderful people. And it shows that, you know, there's much that divides us in Irish history, but your farm is living proof that there's much that we have in common as well. Yeah, it is really, because, I mean, well, obviously King William came down from the mountains there and camped down here and went on to the Battle of the Boyne and, you know, in the interest of democracy, really. And um, it was Cú Cullen's wish for peace in Ireland, even though he fought in many battles. And St. Bridget was a famous healer who had magical powers. So, uh, you know, we are uh, privileged to be steeped in such history. And do you, do you have many visitors here? Oh, no. This is a private farm. Yeah. And uh, last, we were privileged last um, last August. Actually, we had the loud the loud women's the loud ladies um, women's network. Sorry, uh, had the Ards Peninsula women from the north down, and we had a lovely day of garden party, food, drink, music, and a walk around the sites here. So really, that was our first enterprise, which was. Um, you know, if you like hands across the border to our friends and was thank God the sun shone on us as it is today. Yeah. <laughs> well and um we it turned out it was a lovely day. And just last year close links to King William and that aspect of history, is that is, is that intrigued you to learn more about, Definitely. about, about the Battle of the Boyne and Oh yes. And we were very, very lucky that day we had um the Reverend John Watson um, Presbyterian minister came down and gave us a wonderful talk about him that really inspired us. We didn't realise, I mean, there was so much in the history that we hadn't known about. And the same for uh, Dara Smith, um, who wrote the book on Cú Cullen. And he was inspiring how we, all the stories and the poems about Cú Cullen. And our local Dolores Whelan, who lives just, just up in Ravensdale, 
see her face nearly from here. And she uh, she is organising, funnily enough, you're organising the William and Ice tra Trail, and she's organising a walk from Fawhurst to Kildare, our own uh, Dolores Whelan for St. Bridget, showing, retracing her path. So, you know, I think we're only on the edge, really, of uh, our sort of joining together. I'm sure, lastly, it'll give you great pleasure to have your estate, your farm, officially listed on the William Ike Trail. Oh, yes, uh, it's a privilege. Um, I, I'm honoured and, uh, you know, I'm delighted to help in whatever way we can, obviously. And, you know, so long as things are done in a sympathetic way and appreciated by the right people, fine, great.